Finally, enough's enough. It's time for the coddled left to stop trying to undermine President-elect Donald Trump. Admit the fact he won fair and square. Now, since election night, the left has been plotting to try and prevent him from actually occupying the Oval Office. Remember the recount attempts? Well, that was a complete disaster. Donald Trump actually ended up getting more votes in Wisconsin. Now, this Russian hacking story Democrats are pushing, well, that's a total failure because it's not based on concrete evidence or any new information or fact, but Democrats can't let it go. Now, here's what White House Press Secretary and propagandist Josh Ernest said today. But Mr. Trump obviously knew that Russia was engaged in malicious cyber activity that was helping him and hurting Secretary Clinton's campaign. And again, these are all facts that are not in dispute. All right, let's break this down. Josh Ernest, he would obviously not be making that claim without the approval of his boss, President Obama. And by the way, the Democrats, well, they weren't caring about the Constitution for the past eight years as Obama was stomping on it. So you have the outgoing president of the United States now actively trying to delegitimize his successor. And that's not the only tactic that Democrats are deploying. They are plotting basically what amounts to a political coup. You heard it right. They're trying to undermine our democracy and create a constitutional crisis, all because their corrupt candidate lost and you didn't vote for her. Now, on Monday, members of the Electoral College, they will meet to officially cast their ballots for president and vice president. And the left, they're doing everything they can do to try and convince these electors not to do their job and not vote for Donald Trump. And not surprisingly, Hollywood liberals, they're throwing their support behind this very radical idea to create a constitutional crisis. Watch this. Republican members of the Electoral College, this message is for you. As you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of a demagogue and to ensure that the presidency only goes to someone who is, to an eminent degree, endowed with the requisite qualifications. An eminent degree. Someone who is highly qualified for the job. The Electoral College was created specifically to prevent an unfit candidate from becoming president. There are 538 members of the Electoral College. You and just 36 other conscientious Republican electors could make a difference. By voting your conscience on December 19th. Now, it even gets worse. We're learning tonight also that President Obama and Hillary Clinton are directly tied to this plan. Now, the Daily Caller is reporting that a public relations firm that represents some of these, quote, faithless electors was co-founded by former White House advisor Van Jones. He now, by the way, works at the Clinton News Network, CNN. Now, the company is reportedly filled with board members who have worked for President Obama and Clinton's campaign in the past. And that's not all. The left is also using extreme tactics to try and influence these electors, including threats of violence. Take a look at what's been happening to a Michigan Electoral College voter in that state. I've been inundated with hundreds and hundreds of letters to my house, Facebook messages, and some of those messages were death threats. I've had people threatening to put a bullet in the back of my mouth, people saying to throw myself in front of a bus, sending me pictures of a noose, saying if I don't do the right thing that they'll get me. And crazy leftists like the washed up Keith Oberman, they're even coming out of the woodwork to attack Donald Trump. Watch this. He has been helped into the White House by the evil of another nation, and yet all our politicians will do is promise reviews and committees whose words will be too measured and too late. The voters have guaranteed themselves slavery, defeat, economic disaster, and the need to soon or late save this nation and restore freedom by extricating ourselves from a Trump regime by whatever process provides itself. All right, how far Keith has fallen. Imagine if I said the same thing back in 2008 after Barack Obama had won the election. Now, Democrats, they're being total hypocrites. Ever since Clinton lost President Obama, he's been floating the idea that Russia could have influenced the election. But back in October, he was actually mocking Donald Trump for raising concerns. Take a look. The larger point that I, I, I want to emphasize here is that there is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even you could even rig America's elections and so uh, I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes 
Hey, President Obama, maybe you and Hillary, maybe it's time for you to stop whining. And there's Hillary Clinton. Remember how she was relentlessly attacking Donald Trump after he said he would wait until after the election before ex accepting the results? Let's take a look at this. That's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him. Now, make no mistake, by doing that, he is threatening our democracy. I got to tell you, as your Secretary of State, I went to 112 countries. And I went to countries where people were jailed for being political opponents, where they were exiled, where they were killed. I take this really seriously. And for me, the peaceful transfer of power is one of the things that makes our country great. Hmm, I guess not. So why won't the Democrats listen to their own advice and criticism on this issue? Well, here's the fact. It's because they don't care about you, the people they think are irredeemable, the basket of deplorables. The left only cares about people who live apparently in New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and of course where the sewer is so corrupt in Washington, D.C. But middle America? Well, they might as well not even exist. Now, the sore loser left. They need to take a long look at this electoral map from 2016. You see all that red there? That means Donald Trump won. And he did it by listening to the American people. He actually went there to all those states and campaigned on issues. Now, if the left is so tolerant and accepting, as they always claim to be, well, then maybe it's time to act like it. And once and for all, recognize Donald Trump is going to be our next president. But let's be honest. President Obama, he's not going to do that. He will be attacking Donald Trump at every turn, which is the exact opposite of what President George W. Bush did to him.